Hugh John Mungo Grant I, born September 9, 1960, is an English actor. Grant has received a Golden Globe, a BAFTA, and an honorary Caesar for his work. As of 2018 update, his films have grossed a total of nearly 3 billion US dollars worldwide from 29 theatrical releases. 2. He first received attention after earning the Volpe Cup for his performance in the film Maurice, 1987, but achieved international success after appearing in Four Weddings and a Funeral, 1994. 3. He used this breakthrough role as a frequent cinematic persona during the 1990s, delivering comic performances in films such as Notting Hill, 1999, and Mickey Blue Eyes, 1999. For Four Weddings and a Funeral, Grant won the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor, Motion Picture Musical or Comedy and the BAFTA Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role. Grant's starring role in Four Weddings and a Funeral made him one of the best-known figures in cinema, and he was seen as a charming, vulnerable, witty romantic lead. By the turn of the 21st century, he had established himself as a leading man, skilled with a satirical comic talent. 4. In the early 2000s he expanded his oeuvre with critically acclaimed turns as a cat in Bridget Jones's Diary, 2001, About a Boy, 2002, and American Dreams, 2006. 5. After appearing in several successful romantic comedy films and also period pieces such as The Remains of the Day, 1993, and Sense and Sensibility, 1995, Grant began to take against type parts, starting with multiple roles in the epic sci-fi drama film, Cloud Atlas, 2012. He received critical acclaim for his portrayals of St. Clair Bayfield and Florence Foster Jenkins, 2016, Phoenix Buchanan, an antagonist in Paddington 2, 2017, 6-7, and Jeremy Thorpe in the BBC miniseries A Very English Scandal, 2018. 8. He was BAFTA nominated for all three performances, and received Golden Globe Award nominations for Florence Foster Jenkins and A Very English Scandal. Most recently he starred in a crime film The Gentleman, 2019, and HBO psychological thriller miniseries The Undoing, 2020. Grant is known as a meticulous performer who approaches his roles like a character actor, working hard to make his acting appear spontaneous. 9. Hallmarks of his comic skills include a nonchalant touch of sarcasm and studied physical mannerisms. The entertainment media's coverage of his life off the big screen has often overshadowed his work as an actor. 10. He has been outspoken about his antipathy towards the profession of acting, his disdain towards the culture of celebrity, and his hostility towards the media. 11-12. He emerged as a prominent critic of the conduct of Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation during the News International phone hacking scandal. 13-14-15. In a career spanning more than 35 years, Grant has repeatedly claimed that acting was not his true calling but rather a career that developed by happenstance. 16. However in 2020, after moving on to more character roles, he has stated that he enjoys acting now. 17. Grant was born on September 9, 1960, 18, at Hammersmith Hospital in White City, London, the second son of Finvola Susan McLean, B. Wickham, Hampshire, October 11, 1933, D. Hounslow, London, July 2001, and Captain James Murray Grant, born 1929. His grandfather, Colonel James Murray Grant, DSO was decorated for bravery and leadership at St. Valerie and Co. during World War II. 19. Genealogist Anthony Adolph has described Grant's family history as a colorful Anglo-Scottish tapestry of warriors, empire builders and aristocracy. 20. His ancestors include Sir Walter Raleigh. 21. William Drummond. 4th Viscount Strathallan. James Stewart. 2022-23. John Murray, 1st Marquess of Athol, Heneage Finch, 1st Earl of Nottingham, Sir Evan Nepean, and a sister of former Prime Minister Spencer Percival. 24. Grant's father was an officer in the Seaforth Highlanders for eight years in Malaya and Germany. 25. He ran a carpet firm, pursued hobbies such as golf and painting watercolours, and raised his family in Chiswick, West London, where the Grants lived next to Arlington Park Mansions on Sutton Lane. 26-27, in September 2006, a collection of Captain Grant's paintings was hosted by the John Martin Gallery in a charity exhibition, organized by his son, called James Grant, 30 Years of Watercolors. 
28. His mother worked as a school teacher and taught Latin, French and music for more than 30 years in the state schools of West London. 29. She died at the age of 67, 18 months after being diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. 30. On Inside the Actor's Studio in 2002, he credited his mother with any acting genes that, he, might have. 27. Both his parents were children of military families, 31, but, despite his parents' backgrounds, he has stated that his family was not always affluent while he was growing up. 32. He spent many of his childhood summers shooting and fishing with his grandfather in Scotland. 26. Grant has an older brother, James Jamie Grant, who is a New York-based investment banker. 2633. Grant started his education at Hogarth Primary School in Chiswick but then moved to St. Peter's Primary School in Hammersmith. He was then educated at an independent preparatory school, Weatherby School. From 1969 to 1978, he attended the independent Latimer Upper School in Hammersmith on a scholarship and played first 15 rugby, cricket and football for the school. 34-35, he also represented Latimer Upper on the quiz show Top of the Form, an academic competition between two teams of four secondary school students each. 27. In 1979, he won the Galsworthy Scholarship to New College, Oxford. He studied English and graduated with two-to-one honors. 36. Viewing acting as nothing more than a creative outlet. 37. He joined the Oxford University Dramatic Society and was Fabian in a production of Twelfth Night. 38-39. He also starred in his first film, Privileged, 1982, produced by the Oxford University Film Foundation. Actress Anna Chancellor, who met Grant while she was still at university, has recalled, I first met Hugh at a party at Oxford. There was something magical about him. He was a star even then, without having done anything. 40. He received an offer from the Courtauld Institute of Art, University of London to pursue a PhD in the history of art, but decided not to take the offer because he failed to secure a grant. 41. After making his debut in the Oxford-financed film Privileged, 1982, Grant dabbled in a variety of jobs, such as working as an assistant groundsman at Fulham Football Club, 42, tutoring, writing comedy sketches for TV shows, 43, and working for Talkback Productions to write and produce radio commercials for products such as Mighty White Bread and Red Stripe Lager. 44, at a screening of Privileged at BAFTA in London, he was approached by a talent agent offering to represent him. Still intending to begin his M. Phil at the Courtauld Institute, Grant declined, but then later reconsidered, thinking that acting for a year would be a good way to save some money for his studies. 45. Soon afterwards he was offered a supporting role in The Bounty, 1984, starring Mel Gibson and Anthony Hopkins, but was prevented from playing the role because he didn't yet have an equity card, which could only be earned through acting in regional theatre. 45. To obtain his equity card, he joined the Nottingham Playhouse and lived for a year at Park Terrace in the Park Estate in Nottingham. 46. Richard Digby Day directed him in small roles at the Nottingham Playhouse in Lady Windermere's Fan, an avant-garde production of Hamlet, and Coriolanus. 47-48